Hello and welcome everybody, this is In Blender. So in this tutorial, I got something special for you guys, which I've been wondering for quite some time, is how to create um, a 3D, you know, getting those PBR shaders from just one image that you just took while you are passing by. This is the node setup. I'll be explaining this in quite simple ways, super easy. Let's just get right into it. So I'll just go right here and uh, create a general. So I'll just add a plane to deal with so I'll just, just set up this scene for our likings and to work with and creating this PBR texture so I'll just go right here and enable the screencast tool for you guys to see what I am doing so if I pull this right up and change this to the shading mode to add the shading stuff in here so I'll just go right here change this to cycles and I'll go experimental now if I enable this subdivision surface so that we have this new adaptive subdivision I'll enable it and change it to this part 304 you can just go right up if you want some smoother results so if I go right here and enable this and I'll just call this BBR and I'll just go right back down and if I change this to bump only to displacement and bump so I'll create the texture so if I want to go here and see what is going on and I'll add um, this HDRI in Blender so to see what is to get some lighting so sorry for my computers getting little slow this day so I'll just click this PBR texture principle BSDF and I'll just control T to get this so now if I open this image that I have I have took while I was walking by some neighborhood so I see all of a sudden we got this we got this image but it doesn't look good it doesn't have some bumps and I think that even the glow is not going to be variating so now to fix that we just gotta go right like this. G move it like that and I am going to be adding a color because, because blender works this way so one means black and one means white black means black uh zero means black so we just gotta you know use that for our advantage and just play with this value so if i go right here and make this image even contrast here we get this all of a sudden we get this white values and black values right there so to to use that for our advantage i'll just go right here and add a displacement modifier right there and plug it in there for that so if I go right here and plug this in the height, all of a sudden you see some kind of getting white. I don't know why. So I'll just go like this, plug this in here and good. So now you see this because you don't see the bumps right up happening right away is because we are in the look dev mode. If I go right in the shading mode, you see that we got something like this all of a sudden everything is going crazy so you want to fix that so I'll just add shift A I'll just add a math node right there plug it in between this change this to multiply and change this to 0.03 or something so you see that we are getting it closer to what we want not quite yet so let's add some roughness values right into it we express this, this wire product you know, reflective is to be some kind of dull, unreflective part. So, the same ideology works here, but we, this one, we are going to be using something different. So, I'll just go in the multiply and change this to greater than node. <coughs> so, I'll just plug this in here, control shift, click this. I'll just go to here to get some smooth results. And I'll just change the threshold to 0.5. Something like this. Just when we get this part out of the equation, we just go right here. So nice, perfect. So now we just gotta add a new another one and change this to less than and plug this in here. Now if I control shift click this, you get something that looks like this. Um, I'm gonna go right here and change this part right there. So now what we want to do is multiply this to together and get one big uh, mask for our roughness value so I'll just go right there and add a math node again 
should have just duplicate that but I'll just go right here and work with what I have so I'll just plug this to right here together and change this to multiply now you see that nothing is happening because we got the same kind of masks multiplied together so I'll just go right here to the invert node and I'll invert one of those guys like this if I invert one of those guys you will see that all of a sudden we have something like that so if I dial this up like this we start getting the mask like this something like this should work so I'm using the black as if the crevices of this to be shiny so I'll just go right there play with this value still I get something that I like mm -hmm. this should work good so now I'll just go add a math print modifier map print node plug it in between these guys so we get something so this is it's going to be from point there one we want it to be this much reflective I'm just go with zero even and to maximum of 0.4 reflectivity so all of a sudden the image is grayed out but that's good so I'll just control shift and click the principal BSDF to see what is going on if I give it a minute to process and you see this now if I plug the map branch into the roughness you see something that looks like this just give it a minute okay good so now if I go right here and you see this parts get reflective especially the water parts like that and something around here is not going to be as reflective as those so I'll just go to the cycles render engine to see it with the bumps okay perfect I hope you guys like this tutorial just like follow and remember this is uh, some kind of hack to work around those barriers not the perfect thing as if using some dedicated software to get what the results but this is fine for my renders especially if it's a background object so thank you guys for getting this bye